Hi, welcome to the online classroom tonight. Just going to, once again, just wait a few minutes till I see a couple people jumping on. If you could just give me a thumbs up that you are able to see me and hear me. I appreciate it and then we'll get started tonight. We are going to learn about digestion tonight. Thank you. Okay, so we'll begin this video. Um, tonight is an important video, I think, especially um, in our understanding the body and understanding how our energetic system works and then how it starts to manifest physically. And as we're in the midst of a worldwide uh, I would say space of the unknown. There definitely comes fear with the unknown and we feel fear in different parts of our body. And I would, I would bet most of us have felt that in our belly and sometimes it can feel like a knot in our stomach and we'll even language that. We'll say, I feel like I have a knot in my stomach or I might have a stomach ache. And that's, the body starting to process energetically and emotionally how we might be feeling. And so it's really important as we go through probably the next 30 days still to keep doing check-ins. And a check-in is, okay, how am I feeling? What's going on in my body? And that actually takes unplugging um, from most everything because when we're distracted, we're still paying attention to something else. And so after the video is done today, I'd like you to practice unplugging and turning off your phone, doing some of the exercises that I'm showing you tonight and see where your body's at. Um, I do want to address a couple things with digestion and how, how the body can be responding to what's happening in our lives. So one thing is with digestion and the colon, some people will have constipation. Constipation can happen for various reasons, physically for not getting enough fiber or not having enough water. And emotionally, sometimes constipation will happen because there's something that we're not willing to let go of, or um, we're being stubborn and holding on to an issue. It literally will show up in the digestive tract. And, um, these types of people tend to be fairly stubborn. Also, it can be an indication that um, if we're feeling fearful, we want to control a situation. And then what happens is, and one thing I want you to notice, so this is one of those checking in, am I clenching my butt? So that's something I'd like you to check in in your private space. Is that something I'm doing? Because what I find in my practice is so many people clench their butt cheeks without even being aware that they're clenching. And when we clench all the muscles that allow, allow the fecal matter to come out of the body, it's very difficult because it's all clenched and it's tight and there's no movement. So once a day, I think the best time to do it is when you're in bed at nighttime, your body's resting, you're lying down, notice your hips. The best way I can tell you is notice your tailbone and let your tailbone relax. It literally will open up your hips a little bit and allow more flow within the digestive tract. If you can unclench um, in that part of your body, that part of your body energetically has to do with safety and security as well. So as you unclench in that moment to tell your body, I am safe in this moment, because right now many people are living moment to moment. So the moment that we're in and being present matters. So check in with yourself tonight with that. Uh, the other piece is, so some people have constipation, other people might have diarrhea. Uh, the tendency with people who get a lot of diarrhea is also um, moving too fast, feeling overwhelmed, too much is moving through them, and they'll say that language, I'm too overwhelmed, 
Um, I feel like I'm in the rapids, things are moving too fast, I can't get any traction. We'll speak the language of energy without realizing that's what we're speaking. So if that is something that you can relate to, I would just tell you to check into um, you're probably moving too fast. If you tend to get diarrhea, you, you probably tend to be in overwhelm a little more often. So both are very important because we need our bowels to move the food through us, let go so we can be nourished and have our body assimilate what's coming in, not only through our mouths into our bodies, but energetically what's coming into us. And if we're constantly being inundated with what's on the news right now, that might be an overwhelm or too much coming into our system, which is why I would suggest unplugging once a day with everything, electronically just unplugging and coming back to the basics, which is our breath. And that's where we're going to start tonight. In the PDF that I'm going to provide, I also did, um, wrote down for you, went through the organ systems and did a really brief description of what each organ might hold. And it's very generalized, but it can give you an idea of how psychosomatically the body responds to outside stimulus, it can also respond to how we process our thoughts. And it's very real. We speak it all the time. Our language is a huge indicator of how we're processing internally and listening to how we speak um, is actually a key to our health because then we can begin to maybe shift it. So the language of um, I'm too overwhelmed to take a breath and slow down and unclench and in that breath to say I'm okay in this this moment, even if it's only 1%, maybe 2%, that's enough for your body to relax into what's happening. We're not looking for 100%. That's not why I'm doing these calls. We're looking for 1% or 2% of feeling better. This is a resource to help ease some of the tension and stress in the body and in the psyche. So this is my son, Davis, his belly that you see. Um, we're going to begin. So what I'd like you all to do is take your right hand and put it on your heart. Take your left hand and put it on your belly. So I'm going to have Davis do this for me, just like that. And so what I'm going to have Davis do is he's going to take a big breath into his lower belly. So go ahead and take a breath. And I'd like you to practice pushing your lower belly out so the breath goes all the way down into the belly. And notice if it's difficult for you to breathe all the way into the belly and or not. So this is one of the things when you climb in bed tonight, I'd like you to practice doing on a regular basis. This is the check-in. So he's breathing in. You can see his hand moving up. Sometimes I find with people, if you put a pillow on your belly so you can visually see, okay, I'm getting enough breath for the belly to move up because there's many people who aren't able to breathe into their belly because there's so much tension in the upper part of the body or there's fear they're experiencing and it locks in the diaphragm. So that's how I'd like you to start. And the other piece is, so on your body, so people that are watching, find the two points in your uh, clavicle here, this bone, and just off those two points, just bring your hands down and you'll feel a little divot or hollow in this point. Now I want you to crisscross your hands just like this, and you're going to stimulate that point, but the hands need to be crossed to stimulate that point. That point actually helps calm the body and create more energy in the body at the same time, but it helps to soothe the nervous, the nervous system. That's something you can do if you're feeling really anxious, something you can do because when we get anxious, we get tired and or we get amped up. So it just helps to neutralize and settle, settle the system. And make sure before you begin any process like this, you check in with your breath. Okay, so our next exercise is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to release the diaphragm. 
and it's very gentle so it's important that you can do this on yourself it is easier to have someone else do it because then you don't have other muscles engaged but um, hopefully you can find someone to do it on you because that's how I'm going to teach it tonight so you're, we're going to find the rib cage and we can see Davis's rib cages very nicely so find the rib cage and there's a bone the breastbone comes all the way down and there's a little tip on that bone we're going to come off that tip about an inch like two finger widths do not push on that bone at all so you find it you touch it and then you come down two finger widths off of the bone okay and you can put um, if you like to use essential oils you can certainly use a digestive blend some people like dill uh, lemon lemongrass uh, fennel is a good oil for digestion you could use lavender peppermint's wonderful it's a wonderful tea chamomile all of those things if you like to use them many of them are found in teas also will help with digestion um, and you can take the tea internally if you like that and or if you like to use oils choose your favorite essential oil to put on the belly before you start okay and then what we're going to do so we find that the tip of that bone and just come down from it and i like to use two hands and the motion is as he so davis take a deep breath on the out breath you're going to gently pull down and you're not pushing into the body you just it's a slight motion think of it like um, pulling a piece of taffy if you if you pull a piece of taffy too fast it pops it breaks we want to gently stretch the taffy so if you can put that in your mind it might be helpful so on the out breath you're going to gently pull down you're not really even rubbing across the skin you're just stretching just a little bit and then you're going to work along the left side and then the right side just under the rib cage once again you are not on the rib cage find the rib cage allow your fingers to slip off the rib cage and down and then take a breath and on the out breath you're going to gently pull down and again and gently pull down on each out breath and you can repeat this a couple times especially if it's really tight if they tell you "Ooh, that's tender you lighten up first and you're probably going to need to do it two or three times to get that diaphragm to relax a little bit so the breath can come back into the belly so you'll do the left side and then the right side and maybe doing it a couple times to get that diaphragm to release because when the diaphragm is tight what happens in the body the diaphragm is here it literally goes and it tightens and then it restricts our breath so for us to even get a deeper breath we are really going to need to release the diaphragm which in turn will actually help the shoulders relax because it's kind of like a pivot center in the body and if this is tight everything bends to that in the diaphragm so as you relax it the shoulders come back the head comes back and the body can relax again and it, it also helps with anxiety because you can actually take a deeper breath um, okay so we have that the releasing of the diaphragm and then I did put an extra point in here for you so on your left hand so everyone find your left hand and this side of the hand on the pinky side you're going to bend your hand this way and there's a point right here there's a little hollow as well right there in the wrist and you're going to stimulate that point you're not going to push hard just back and forth stimulating that point that point if you tend to have constipation actually helps relax the bowel so it's an acupressure point for the bowel for constipation okay we have the diaphragm relaxing we have the point here and the next one we're going to do is it's called a sun and moon massage i would suggest putting some type of lotion or oil you can use what you have in your house i um, have used olive oil many times or coconut oil i like them because they're natural coconut oil i like probably the best because it doesn't really have a smell and then i can add essential oils to that so um, just use what you have in your house and you're going to so this is a measurement again 
you're going to put your thumb, you're going to touch the navel or belly button. You're not going to push in, you're going to touch it. And this hand lays all the way across and my fingers are actually almost to the tip of his hip bone here. This is his bone. So you're not on the bone, you're just, just to the side of it. And it should pre measure pretty easily this way. So you can rest your hand flat on the belly and with one hand, so this is my left hand, you're going to come up. This is traveling the tract of the intestines. So you're going to come up on top of the belly to the rib cage and across and down. And then I'm going to put my other hand on. And so the left hand stays moving, the right hand crosses over. So just like that in a clockwise motion, which is how the bowel works, comes up this way, comes down, and then it exits out, this, out the colon on the left side of the body. So as we gently, and you're not pushing hard, I would suggest going slowly and gently moving across the colon. And you're, here you're even just relaxing. Touch alone helps to relax the digestive tract. You're going across the liver and the pancreas, just touching on the spleen and the stomach to, to let the body know that you're relaxing it. And I would set that intention anytime that I work on my kids or a client to really be clear that my intention is to not harm or hurt. My intention is to have a compassionate, soft touch so the body can begin to settle and feel better and take your time doing that if you have a tender spot i would just hold your hand there for a minute you don't need to push at all do not ever push in especially with your fingers so make sure your hands stay flat and gently massage the belly and the last one that we're going to do is you're going to scoop your hands underneath the belly just like this go ahead and take a breath and on the out breath you're going to bring your hands up so you're starting to shake the body. Go ahead and do another breath. And you're shaking. So it looks like this. So you're vibrating the, the tissue as you come up. And what that does is it creates more room in the digestive tract to allow those organs to function like they're supposed to. When we breathe, the body actually moves in and out and if we've been experiencing fear or anxiety or anger, um, sometimes excitement, if it's prolonged over a period of time, the body actually gets tighter and it doesn't move as easily as it should. And then the organs can't move. They should be moving with our breath, with the rhythm of that. And then that creates issues physically. And I would also say energetically because it, it um, can create some more anxiety because there's no movement. We'll use the language, I feel like I can't breathe. True, because the diaphragm's locked, the body comes forward. I physically can't get my breath because my body is folding in on itself because the diaphragm gets tight. And then the colon gets squished because it's not, there, it doesn't have the capacity that it needs to move and breathe and open in the system that it's been created to, to do. Um, making sure I'm going over my mental notes in my brain that I have all of that. I do um, have all of this in notes so you can print, print the PDF out and go over it. If you have any questions, please message me and I'd be happy to answer them. And remember this, these videos are not a fix it video. They are here for a resource for you to be able to do something to help people in your house to relax a little bit more into what's happening and be able to breathe a little bit better and hopefully digest the food that you're eating better. So thank you for joining me tonight in the online classroom. I will be doing another one next Friday night at 6 p.m. and we'll be doing low back and I hope you can join me and thank you for joining me tonight.